Hey everybody, I have a haul for you. I'm in the spare bedroom that I'm gonna be decorating. And if you can see the rugs here, and I got this runner, I got a little floor uh, rug to go in front of the door. And then over here, there's a, a matching runner to this one. And then this rug here, can you see it? Right here. I got that at I got those at dirt cheap and this rug was gonna be ten dollars but it has it has a little stain on it right here right there and I asked the lady could they take something off for that and so she put it in as a damaged item and I got it for four something four dollars and change but this is my massive uh, um, dirt cheap haul that I want to show you. Everything that I'm going to um, use to decorate the room. Now, some of this is, you know, things that I bought. But I also have some items in the living room that I'm going to repurpose in here. And um, the in the kitchen where I have that television, it's actually sitting on a sewing desk. Um that I thrifted a while back and painted white. I'm gonna switch out tables and use that sewing table back here and then maybe do more painting on it because I didn't like it such a stark white. But anyway, here, here's the haul. So I got this beautiful vase. Isn't that pretty? To put flowers in and set it on the floor. And um, I saw this. This is the hearth and home, no, hearth and hand. Can you see it? I hope you can. Hearth and hand collection, the Joanna Gaines. And I'm gonna put a flower in this as well. And it, but I had other items that match it, so I got the whole, the whole set. I should have organized everything before I started the video so I could just pull stuff out one after the other and have it all match. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? This is a candle. Uh, does it say? I think it's magnolia. It smells very nice. And then this nice little coffee mug, which I thought would be cute to put like pens and stuff in on the on my desk. And then like a little flower in this. So these three items came together. And they have like little flecks of gold. If you can see it. Little flecks of gold. And really cheap. Like this was this was um the original price $12.99 at Dirt Cheap. But I got it, I think it was 60% off. It was really cheap. And then this was $5.99. And $12.99, but again, 60% off of those prices. Then I was moseying along, and I saw this little beauty. And it had a matching sphere. I think it's a sphere. Um, isn't that pretty? That's how the bottom looks. And uh, I think these were 60% off as well. Everything that I'm showing you, the four rugs and all the decor items, I got for less than $120. And then I saw this candle I thought was really pretty. It has um, kind of a, a clay look to it, an earthy. And it has a candle inside. And this, does this have a scent on it? It says Bahama Breeze. It smells nice. I don't normally light candles because having a cat and pets, I'm always worried they're gonna knock it over. But if I'm back here, um, you know, trying to get my craft, what do you wanna call it? My craft zen going, I may go ahead and light, light the candle. Now I saw this and I thought this goes really well with all the colors. Um, and this was $10 and then it was 50% off this. So it was $5 for, for this. 
and you can kind of see from this picture here how, how it will look if you hang it on the wall. But I thought this goes really nicely with this whole color scheme. And then I'm going to do the walls gray, the repose gray. So I think this will this will go nice. And it looks nice with the um, rug too. Isn't that pretty? And I really thought these spears would really like complement the rug as well. This is kind of, um, what is this, a copper? And it's got that sparkle in there, which I don't like glitter if it comes off when you touch it, but this is in the glass, so I'm all for it. And let's see, what else did I get? I got, I saw this, I've been, the picture that I made in my daughter's room, which I haven't shown you yet, I made that last summer, a painting for her. And I used paper doilies that I had bought at Dollar Tree and I spray painted over the top and it helped to create a pattern on the canvas. Well, these are made out of a thick paper, almost cardboard, but maybe not quite as thick as cardboard. So I, I'll be able to get, I think, multiple uses out of this and, and I'll spray uh, lay it on things to spray paint it and then I lift it up or I can even uh, sponge tap it It'll give me the designs. It's like flower Flower designs or a star even if I want it Now this I thought was lovely And I'm gonna hang that on the wall in here. I'm not sure which wall But it's going on the wall It's from Opal House, which I, I don't think I've ever heard of that brand but I'm something's telling me it's a target brand yeah it, it, yeah more at target.com so maybe I have heard of the brand I just didn't realize this was uh, 1999 regularly I think I got this for ten dollars I'm pretty sure it was ten dollars and then they have these which you hang on the wall and they were a dollar a piece and I am really crazy about succulents. I think I've mentioned that to you before. So when I saw these cactuses, yeah, I'll hold this one up. I said, oh my gosh, that is so cute. I'm gonna hang that on the wall too, maybe over the sewing desk or something, I'm not sure. And then this, okay, it's not really that beautiful, but it was only a dollar. And it's a chicken <laughs> and it's on an embroidery hoop. And I've been wanting to do some kind of, um, you know, decor with the embroidery hoop. And I'm going to move two of the roosters that I have hanging on each side of my Beulah the cow picture in the kitchen. I'm going to move them in here and hang, hang them in here. I'm going to spray paint them a different color because I've got some antique hats that I used to have hanging on display in my living room and I think I'm going to display them back here in the craft room. So um, somehow or another this chicken will fit in with the roosters. And then, oh and anytime I see straws marked down I go ahead and I pick those up. So I think that's everything for my um, dirt cheap haul. Recap, recap, I'll give you a recap. Ta-da! Ta-da! I really, this is a good find right here. This was $24.99 at their original price. Yeah, $24.99. It says Threshold, which I think is also a, yeah, tar it's got Target on here, Target brand. But that's pretty darn good getting these Target items, and I think I only paid, I don't think it was 10 I think I got more than that off on this. Um, I should have brought my receipt in here. But anyway, I got all these decor items to do um, to do the, uh, the craft room. Can you see Eartha Kitty over there? Look at Eartha. <laughs> I got the dogs locked up because they're getting better, but they're still not friends. Two of my dogs can be in the same room with her, and everybody minds their business and nobody bothers anybody. But Ted... The light brown one that does most of the barking, they're still negotiating their relationship. But it is getting better. But I thought I would also go ahead and do my unboxing, which I did mention in my last video, but I realized after the fact that I had edited that out. 
But I got this, um, I made an order from the Grove Collaborative. And I've been wanting to buy something from the Grove for years. But, you know, I'm always on a budget. And I thought, eh, you know, maybe ne next time, maybe next month or maybe next season or whatever or i don't really need that or whatever i just talked myself out of it but i was watching um this and that with denise jordan and she was talking about her uh growth collaborative items and um she had a link at the bottom of her video and if you spent twenty dollars on their products they would include all of these free items which they normally do have uh, a deal like that you spend a certain amount of money and in exchange you'll get uh, you know a grouping of uh, free items so I just happened to go ahead and do it and I've had this box sitting around for at least a week because I was waiting to film and uh, so I did already open my sponge and I forgot to bring the, the dish towel in here I'll run and get it but this is really nice uh, sponge really nice quality I put one in the um, I put one in the kitchen already and I'll save this one for later so I haven't I've opened the top of this box and I pulled out the kitchen towel and I pulled out the sponge but that's all I've looked at I haven't pulled anything else else out so I don't even remember what my what I ordered for the $20 on, or what were the free items I can't remember but this is their all-purpose uh, cleaner, cuts grease and grime. The smell is pink grapefruit. And it smells like grapefruit. I love the smell of grapefruit for cleaning. I use, I'll put an essential oil in like a homemade cleaning product just to get that, that grapefruit smell. I also like to put grapefruit essential oil in my uh, diffuser. It really makes the air smell good. Okay, so the next item is a hand sanitizer gel. This is in the scent Blood Orange. And hopefully hopefully the lighting will, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry guys if it's not showing up. I think it's the lamp. I think it's the lamp behind me that's doing it. It's so bright. But, um... I, I can't use hand sanitizer. There's something in it. It just makes the palms of my hands itch really bad. So I normally don't use a hand. And you know what? I'll use it right now to test it out. Because I thought, well, um, I, I think I paid for this because I think I did. Because there were, I had to spend a couple dollars more to reach my $20. But um i'm gonna try a little on my hand if my hand doesn't start itching by the end of this video then i'll know i can use it it's kind of an alcohol smell with a with a hint of orange underneath it feels kind of drying on my hands like alcohol normally does so far no itch if it doesn't work for me i'll give it to ava because she can use hand sanitizer and it doesn't bother her. Now, this is, oh, this is a mint scented hand soap. Maybe if I stay back farther. Mint scented hand soap. And let me see how this smells. Tell you how it smells. It's minty, but it's, it's also got kind of a citrus smell underneath the mint. Or the citrus smell is is in the forefront and the mint is kind of underneath the citrus smell. And then here's a, let's see, a clean day. What is this? Oh, this is a dish soap, a pe peony scent. Peony scent dish soap. I have the biggest uh, haul that I've ever had in my life. This doesn't really have a smell to it. It's very, very, very light. It's not much of a smell. Can you hear the rain? It's been raining off and on most of the afternoon. Okay, the next item is, oh, a mint multi-service everyday cleaner. And that's why I said I gotta hurry up and open this box today because I'm ready to start using these cleaners and have everything smelling nice and minty and 
orange, grapefruity. I'm ready. That's almost like a bubble bath with the, with the barest hint of mint. A very light bubble bath scent with, the, with a very, very light hint of mint. Okay, now let's see what this is. This is a soap dispenser and dish brush set. I know this was a, the, one of the free items. The sponge, I know the sponge was a free item. The dish towel was a free item. And this was a free item. And then some of the cleaners were free items, but I don't remember which ones. This will be really cute to put uh, in the kitchen to uh, Or maybe, I wonder if it'd be too strong to use on a bathtub. But it has like a little, okay, here's the dish. And then the little scrubber goes in there like that. And inside of it, it has um, something that'll drain the water. So that when you set the brush on there, the water will drain through. I probably would maybe put a little paper towel in there just, just fold it up to it, and then every so often switch out the paper towel um i don't know or maybe it'd just be okay to let it drip into the container and it'll evaporate but i think it's pretty i like it oops in the words of urkel did i do that cute and, um, oh, I got three more items in here. This is their toilet bowl cleaner. I've seen Method brands sold at Target. This is kind of like a Target extravaganza item. I'm trying to see if this has a scent to it, but you can't take the top all the way off. I can't tell. I mean, it, it smells pleasant, but it doesn't. I'm not smelling like bleach or anything like that coming out at me. Here is the, oh, seventh generation. See, I've never tried any of these brands. I haven't tried seventh generation. I have never tried Method. And I have never tried Myers, Mrs. Myers. So all of this is new for me. I've always been curious about it, but to be honest, I thought it was a little pricey. And I just went to Dollar Tree and got cleaning products and mixed up my own concoctions here and there. But... I figured for a $20 purchase and I get all of these items, it's definitely worth a try. Um, but this says it kills 99.99% of germs, so it's probably like a Lysol type of a cleaner. Let me see if I can smell it. It smells almost like a smoked meat. Oh, it's a lemongrass citrus scent. You know how when you're at the park and you just get far away, you get that slight whiff of a smoked flavor in the air? That's kind of what, it, that's what this seemed like when I first opened it. Just very, very faint. It wasn't overpowering or... I think it's the, the lemongrass, just kind of an outdoorsy smell. And here is the antibacterial bathroom cleaner. This scent is in spearmint. This house is gonna smell good. By the time I get it done, I might have to make a clean with me video. Mmm, I like this one. This has a stronger mint scent. Very, very, very nice. It, it, it smells like Wrigley spearmint gum, is what it smells like, which is uh, one of my favorite gums. So, for my $20, I got the... I got the dish scrubber and all of these cleaning products. All of these cleaning products. All of this for $20. Pretty good, I think. And let me show you the dish towel real quick. 
before I end it. So many cleaning products, I can't keep them all in my hands. I'm gonna run and get the, I'm gonna run and get the dish towel. Okay, here's the dish towel and it is very very nice quality so that's kind of a waffle weave I think they call that a basket weave and it is very nice quality it's very thick uh, a heavy cotton and does it have a brand it's called oh it's it's by the Grove by the Grove Collaborative. And um, let's see, does it say what it's made? 100% organic cotton designed in USA, made in India. But it's got a, a real nice weight to it. I put it over my the handle on my oven, in the wall oven. And um, I probably just use it mostly for display because I don't know if it retains like if you wipe your hands off and you had like some sauce or something on there, I hate for it to get ruined because it's so pretty. But uh, that was included as well with all of these items back here. So this amass, is that a word? This amazing haul. This amazing haul is what I got uh, in the last week. So, which is very unusual for me because I don't normally have, um, what you would call shopping sprees. Not very often. Once in a while I do, but here we go. So we're going to start decorating this room. I'm, I'm going to paint it. I might take the railing off the middle wall there. Um, I don't think it, you're, you're seeing the middle wall The the railing on the middle of the wall, I might pull that off if I don't pull it off, because I don't know how it's going to look underneath. If there's like some indentation in the wall, then I'll probably leave it up. And then I'm just going to paint it the same color of the wall, because I don't like it. It wasn't really professionally done. There's a lot of gaps in it, so it's not like, you know, it looks all that great. So I'll probably just try to camouflage it and make it disappear. But I'm looking forward to starting this uh, whole decor journey. And I sure am glad you're going to be coming on it with me. If you have any tips, tricks, or suggestions, my ears are open. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.